Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ken Chrysler here and welcome to a preseason game of NBA guys. That is right. We are going to have a preseason game here tonight. And you're going to see a lot of talent, a lot 10 subscribers here as you can see. Uh Brandon M. Uh th these guys will not be on teams however, just to let you guys know. Uh this is just a practice game. So don't get heated when you lose tonight. And of course, Marcus here. And the one, the only, rock star Christopher. <laughs> and that's a pretty good team right there. And Quinn Snyder, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh oh. Oh my goodness! What in the world's this? A Hornet! Starting at point. And Darkness Juggalo! For point guard. Number Starting at center. And Brandon Styles! Number this is gonna be a good game, guys. Practice game, by the way. These guys will not be on teams. Heck, we're not using the Hornets or the Jazz this year. Dan the Man. Number 13. Dan the Man. Starting at power four. Crimson Gamer. 16, 10 inches. Number 27. Number 27. And not last but not least, Alonzo. At small forward here. So I can't wait for this one. And James Borrego? I think I said it right. So, yeah. James, everyone. <laughs> and no sign of David yet, thank goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully, we go a game without him. You thought you could mess with me, Ken? I'm back. That's right, I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. You hear me, you filthy subscribers? I'm back. David Outeridge is back. Yeah! And I'm ready to kick off this NBA game. That is right, Ken. Oh, no! David Outeridge has returned! No! No! Oh, my goodness. No! Oh, I, I should have knew it. He was hiding. He was hiding while I was introducing the players. And, uh, David and I, we do not get along. He says I'm the worst commentator ever. He says he's the greatest commentator ever. I, I, don't think, I think some of you all don't like either one of us. I don't care what you think about me. I'm one of the greatest tag team champions ever. But let's get on NBA. So, five-minute quarters. Just to let you know. And, uh-oh, here comes... Uh-oh, Alonzo here. And Alonzo... Oh! And... What? And this guy, the, our, our new coach, which, by the way, is only going to be on a few games, probably. Because the Hornets and the Jazz are not going to be teams. I will announce the teams. But let me... Uh, oh, man, a nice move there. I believe that was Ryan Red, if I'm not mistaken. And that's two for the Jazz. And here comes Darkness to Brandon Styles. And Darkness gonna try to he gets a little bit of a move in there, so it's two to two. And the Hornet is dancing. Well, yeah, you you might want to just Oh! And a nice move there by Brandon. So Brandon strikes back. And Rockstar Christopher steals the ball. And look there. What a dunk by the Rockstar. Oh, man. Rocking the fro. Oh, my goodness. What an absolute great move that was. 
And Dan the Man's got the ball. And it is 6-2. Dan the Man scores a two there. I'm about to go over there and beat that Hornet up. Honestly, I want to fight it. And Marcus looks like he's going to get a, layup, uh, a foul shot here. My bad. He went for the layup. And he gets the foul. First foul shot. Let's see if he can get the next one here. And he does. So, wow. Two big shots there for uh, Marcus. Making this 8-4. to four. It's a four-point game. And... And Darkness Juggalo going for the three. Perfect three. So it is eight to seven. And some of you guys, I know we left you all off tonight. I'm sorry. Ryan Red with another score there. Uh, we just kind of had a... Uh, we used what teams we had last night. So if you guys were on the Twitch stream, uh, some of you guys still weren't. But, you know... A lot of you guys on here were on the Twitch stream last night. So we did l allow you, unless you were like a position we needed. And Christopher misses that one. And here comes Brandon Styles to Alonzo. Alonzo gets a two. It is 10 to 9 now. 10 to 9. And hopefully, this is going to be a really close game. I want a close game, guys. Close and clean game. And Christopher misses the three, but Brandon, oh, trying to get a lot of coverage there. A lot of coverage there. And, uh-oh, double team on Darkness Juggalo. And Dan the Man puts in the three. So now the Hornets are up. And the Hornet is going crazy on the sidelines. And a timeout by the Jazz. I think Snyder's had enough. Maybe I should throw him some Snyder's potato chips. Help him out. So, yeah. And the cheerleaders are back. Yeah! All right. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm about to get down there and dance too. If you and look at the Hornet. All right. So we're not gonna watch this whole uh, uh, timeout. But we're going to get back to the game. It looks like, and we're worried about these second string guys, man. We're worried about some of these guys in second string. Here comes Harper. We don't know anything about these guys. We just drafted them without looking at their resumes. So both teams have this situation going on. We probably should have put the uh, second strings in or whatever. But it would have been too much work. We'll, we'll, we'll situate it all out. But, yeah, I think they should already be pulled back in. It's pretty sad here. But I, I think of uh, no no disrespect to these guys. But it looks like both teams have sat out a bunch of people. So, And Kid gets a dunk. Okay. And here comes Harper again. So it's 14 to 10. Charlotte's up. This is just a little bit of a test demo that we're giving you guys of how we're going to run games. Because second string, there is going to be a couple subscribers be playing second string. The ones that aren't as interested. And Harper tries to... And Oakley. Oakley gets a two. So it's a little... It's fair. It's fair. Both of these guys we just got from the bottom of the list. And we're just doing whatever we can with them. So uh, they're just... Uh, hopefully they just hold it out till this quarter's over. And then everybody else will make their way back in. That's how I think it's going to go. And Kid. Hey. Kid got a three just now. So Kid's doing pretty good. And look here. And a missed shot there, and end of the first quarter there. So 17 to 12, the Hornets are up. They made some really good threes. Dan, Darkness made a three. 
Uh, then we had Kidd. He put in a three, I believe. And that really got them the score. They didn't start off uh, really well, but uh, I think... Uh, and, dude, get this Hornet off the roller skates before I get down there and get, and and tackle him. You know, I'm about to give him a Roman Reigns spear if he's not careful. Okay, enough's enough. We don't want to watch you roller skate. There's already been talks of Killer Hornets, so we got, we can't trust him. We can't trust him. He could be one of them. You never know with 2020. And it looks like the, the Jazz still have not put back in their players, but... And, yeah, they still get a two here. I don't know what they're doing. So, this is kind of uh, weird. We did not expect this. But it's still about even. But it's kind of like... This is the subscriber game, not the second stream game. So, we might not see anyone back until a timeout is called. Which is kind of bad. Okay, we're starting to see some of them line up. <laughs> What's going on here? You guys, this is the subscribers game, not your game. And it shows that we may need to put stamina back on at 95. Yeah. And Robinson. With a miss there. And Harper. And, hey, the, I mean, it's still a, a, a fair game and time out there by the Hornets. Hopefully we get a bunch of our players back in, our subscribers. These guys had a good run. They weren't too bad. Okay. Enough. What, what are we doing here? Okay, there we go. So some people are back in. It look, well, it looks like most of them. Uh, yeah, most of them are back in. Okay, cool. So... That's okay, having them play a minute or two. I don't have a problem with that. And Dan the Man. And Rockstar Christopher. Oh, and a nice block there by Ryan Red. And here comes Brandon. And Marcus. Oh, barely misses the two. And uh, Crimson Gamer with a layup there, so... Charlotte, 19-18 now. It's a really close game here. Really close. And Ryan. And now Dan the Man coming in. And we could see a move here. I don't know. And Crimson to Darkness. To Alonzo, to Styles. Lonzo back again, and a lot of coverage there. They could not make that shot. And here comes Brandon, and oh, I didn't see that one coming. Christopher with a three. Oh, man, I actually did not see that one coming at all. I thought Brandon was going to throw. I believe that was Ryan there, and Dan's going to get a shot at the foul line to tie this up, and that's one point. Let's see if Dan can get another. And Dan ties this game up 21 to 21. What a game. And here comes Marcus. And Christopher hits another three. Rockstar Christopher in the house with another three. And the Jazz are in, on a 12 to 4 run. They've been doing really good these last few drives and let's see if Brandon Styles can yeah he gets a two in there so it's only a one point game now and the field goals are great 50 and 64 percent really good on the field goals very impressed they've been very accurate on the shooting and here comes Rockstar Christopher Brandon Styles just created a foul and Rockstar Christopher is going to get an opportunity and he gets the first shot in and he gets the second shot. So, 26 to 23. And Darkness. Nice layup, but there was a lot of coverage. 
And here comes uh, Jaws to Ryan. Ryan should throw back. Uh, yeah. Crimson shuts Ryan down there. And Dan to Alonzo. And Alonzo with a nice layup. And it is a one-point game now. And Jaws back in it. And to Rockstar Christopher. Oh, it rolls out. And to Marcus. And Ryan Red. They need to go for something. He's going to have to shoot in coverage. Oh, my goodness. What a move there. And somehow he got that dunk. Makes it a three-point game. And it looks like the second string's coming back in. But it's a, the quarter's about the end. So, yeah, that's okay how it is. Now, I think uh, Darkness Juggalo. Oh, man. Almost had it. And Rockstar Christopher going for a three. Misses that one. And now Dan the Man has the ball. If they hit a three, they can tie it up. And Dan trying to drive and gets blocked. Rockstar Christopher, I believe, with the block there. And Brandon with a two. So it is 30 to 25. And look here. Oh, nails the three right before the half. I believe that was Dan. 30 to 28. Okay. Pretty close game. And no signs of David Alderidge. Thank goodness. So we did not see him coming back into this one. Well, I don't know. Halftime's not over yet. And first quarter has been going well. Darkness Juggalo hit a three. Really nice there. And, yeah, it's 30 to 28. Field goals have went down for the Jazz. Oh, they've went down on both teams, I believe. Christopher and Dan tied 10 to 10 for the most points. And the halftime show is over because we cut it off. We don't have time for the halftime show. And look at these guys. These are the guys that wish they made the NBA. But unfortunately, they didn't. Oh, man, what a nice dunk, though, with your trampoline. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I could dunk, too, if I had a trampoline. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm probably going to get fined for that one. And Jaws trying to get the layup. And Darkness Juggalo. And look here. It's a little bit confusing. I, I'm used to the other side being on that side and that side being on that side. So, And look at Jaws. Wide open. Gets the layup. So it makes it a four-point game. And Brandon. Oh, nice! Brandon to Alonzo makes it a two-point game. And I like how these subscribers are stacking up compared to each other. And all these guys are working good together as a team. For their, uh, They probably will not be, like I said, a lot of these guys will probably not be teammates when it's all said and done. This is a practice game, I repeat. Um, and uh-oh, Jaws. Let's see what he's going to do here. He makes the two, all right. So it's a four-point game. Here comes Alonzo. Alonzo shoots. That was a lot of coverage. I did not expect him to get that. And Christopher, wide open three. You can't leave him wide open. He may have made the, he, he made this a seven-point game just now. He's left wide open. He's had a heck of a game. Definitely has improved from uh, 2K19. And Darkness Juggalo. A lot of coverage there. And still a lot of coverage. A lot of good defense. And Jaws. A lot of good defense there. And Brandon Styles is wide open. Oh, man. He misses it, though. 
Of course, he is a center, so his three-pointers are a little bit lower than, you know, most uh, of the other players. They're in the 80s. They should be, at least. And Marcus going for a three here. And misses that one. A lot of coverage there. And I see a wide open. Oh, oh, nice move by Dan to Crimson. And now it's a five-point game. And it looks like the second strings are uh, going to come in, which is kind of shocking. But, hey, even though they got lower overalls and stuff. Um, and what is going on here? What in the world's this? You guys throwing T-shirts? What are they doing? You're going to hit a fan in the head. We don't need a lawsuit. What are you doing? Okay, enough's enough. They called it off. You got to watch out. Yes, you could hit a fan in the head with a shirt and he could get hurt. He can. It's possible. You never know. Especially if the shirt's wadded up. <laughs> and look here Harper gets shut down and I don't know if this is a good idea by the Jazz here look at Brandon wide open I don't know if this is a good idea at all by the Jazz leaving yeah they they still have yeah this is a really dumb move by the Jazz here because yeah I don't know yeah I <laughs> Well, Kid's in there. Robinson's in there. So it's a. Yeah. But still, Brandon Styles is in there. You got to think about that. And just like that, the Hornets have came back. That's not a good coaching decision by Snyder. But Brandon Styles, it seems like he. Well. Yeah, it looks like Brandon Styles is one of the. And Anderson wide open, though. And misses. Yeah, I don't know what the Jazz are doing here. And Charlotte misses. Franks. And Franks is going to go on the foul line here. I guess it's a little bit even, but Styles is still in it. It looks like some players are coming back in, though. Yep, looks like some of the players are back in. So it's about even now. And now the Hornets are back in. I mean, the Hornets are back up. I mean, the, yeah. And only Brandon's there. So, I don't know if this is a good idea. The Jazz need to get back in there. I don't know if they're tired or what. They cannot rely on this second string. And here comes Styles. Like, yeah, for real. You can't rely on these guys. And they call it a timeout. Yeah. Uh, Snyder, I think you've been eating too many Snyder potato chips and not focusing on the game. Okay? My goodness. And the cheerleaders are here. They're going to throw some shirts at you. I guess it's safe. But I'd rather them pay for the shirts than get them for free. You know? we got to make a profit here. And it looks like some of the Jazz is still not back in. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. This Anderson guy, he got the three, though. He was wide open and ties the game. So Christopher's back in. Looks like uh, Brandon's in. Only about two of them are in, though. Two or three of them. So they're going to run out the third quarter is what they're doing. But they're running it at a tie. Or maybe even worse, look at Brandon here. He gets the two. So now the Hornets are up. And Anderson... Oh, man, he almost got it. And yeah, the Hornets are up now. So, I don't know if that was a good strategy by the coach. They need to put their players back in. And nobody cares about your dancing moves, okay? If you want to be a dancer, go on so you think you can dance. Don't bring it here. I still don't think this is going to... I don't know what the Jazz are thinking. They need their best players in. And like that, it's five points. 
Are they, what are they doing? Harper's not gonna cut it. But there is people from the Hornets as well, in. But Harper's, and look at Brandon here, and a nice block there by Styles. They're, and damn the man, yeah! What are you guys doing? Call a timeout! Snyder doing? He's lost it. And yeah! Harper's not gonna cut it! Look at Dan the man! Get, call a timeout! It's nine points! Now they're just drawing them in. Yeah, you're down by nine now. Because you're a coach. And this goes to show why the second stream will matter some. And Brandon. And Oakley. Well, Oakley's gonna get foul shots, but we'll see how good Oakley is on the foul shot. Well, he got one there. And it looks like everyone's back in for the most part. So, this... I wouldn't want to be drawn down by seven points, though. Especially of how close it was. And they still have people. Oh, my goodness. Get Oakley out of here. <laughs> I don't know what, they're, what the strategy is here. But it, it's... I figured something like this would happen. And it will improve. This is a practice game. So don't take the loss personal. They need a wide open shot. Right now. They just caught cut down there. Oakley needs pull. Brandon needs back in. They need to pull Oakley. And immediately. Now they got lucky there. And Ryan Red. They got three minutes. They're running out of time. Oh, and a nice block there by Crimson. And Marcus. Marcus going for one again. He got a layup. It's, they're still down by seven. It's because of this horrible coaching decision in the third quarter. And, oh, my goodness, if he puts if he puts back those guys in, I think the coach needs fired. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that Charlotte hasn't done a good job because they have because they had backups in. But they got to take some responsibility here. And player of the game's Dan the man. And he has been the man in this game for sure. And Darkness keeps on that score. And now it's a nine-point game. With two minutes remaining, the clock is ticking. It is not looking good. And Ryan uh, gets two. David, we cut your mic off. We don't care what you think. It's a seven-point game officially. And Brandon with nice good defense on his other the uh the other Brandon Styles. And oh nice defense there by Darkness and Crimson getting their hands in there. Oh! And Christopher tried to strip the ball. Brandon might have done it! Oh man, they got they were so close to. They are wasting the clock out. And they will miss that shot, definitely. That was a hard, hard to get shot there. They have got to set. Oh, oh man, they had something good set up there. They blew it. They have got. To, they can't goof around with the ball. What are they doing? They got to go for a three. They got to get a wide open three. They go for a two instead and get it. It is a five point game. They're trying to waste down the clock, but you get these guys on a foul shot, they're, they're, it's rare that they're going to miss. 
which we might need to decrease foul shots to make it a little bit more intense. Put you on the line more, at least to 80 or 75. You know? Three out of four. And Darkness misses that one. They still have time. They have to score here. And Ryan's wide open. He's got the two. It's a three-point game. And they got 24 seconds on the clock. I don't think this is a good decision at all. Well, they, yeah, they have like a point. Well, I can see where they... Okay, they foul him. Okay, I see what they're trying to do here. But they got to take a quick shot. Juggalo's on the line. He gets the first one. He gets the second one. So it is a five-point game. If they go for a three, and then Charlotte gets two foul shots, it's still they're still down. It's it's over. I mean, they got to get a three here, and hope that Charlotte misses a foul shot. They're not probably going to miss. They got an eighty-five percent chance of getting. It. They got to go for a three. They go for a two instead. I don't know what the game plan there was. I guess they're trying to get quick shots and accurate shots. And Dan's been fouled. Oh, well, Brandon Salas is on the line now. Oh, a miss! But still... Oh, another miss! What? A plot twist! The 85% chance. Brandon has an 85% chance of making those. And the 15... Somehow comes into play. And no, nobody cares about you or your roller skates. Hornets, you're supposed to be distancing yourself, not touching everyone's hands. And uh-oh. They go for a three, it'll be good. Heck, if they go for an easy two, they can do the foul shot. Okay, and then tie for a three, maybe. They got it. Uh, draw in the foul, and they do. They got ten seconds. And Brandon's back on the line. He got that one. This is a close game. Three points. They have got to score here. Three. Joss. Oh, man. And it looks like it's over. It's over. Oh, man. Quick shot for the three to tie the game. And... Brandon's going to make this a uh, game a five-point game. I, I don't think they can keep one uh, calling timeouts here. It's over. And Ryan Red. Oh, almost got it. What a nice game, though, guys. Good game. I, I still think the Jazz's coaching hurt the Jazz bad. Really bad. What a game it was. So we'll look at stats, and then I'm going to go ahead and call it a, a day. But this is how the games will go. We might want to tune up the second string a little bit better. But Dan with 16, Brandon with 12, Darkness with 9, Alonzo with 9, uh, Kid got 5, Crimson got 4, Robinson got two. Frank's got two. Wallace got zip. Mace, Bacon got zip. Levi got zip. Uh, Pawns got zip. And then on the Jazz, Rockstar Christopher with 13 points. Ryan Red with 12. Oakley with eight. Menace. Jaws with six. Brandon with six. Marcus with four. Anderson with three. Ellis with two. Harper with zip. Uh, Majural with zip. Mashburn, zip. And Gill did not play. Noah did not play. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Good game. I, I did kind of feel like the Jazz, you know, the coaching killed him in the end. But, hey, fair, what, it hap what happened happened. We're going to definitely improve it. You guys aren't going to be the Jazz or the Hornets for first off. 
But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. We will all see you all later. And tell, tell David Outeridge, I'll take him on in the octagon or in the ring. I'm not afraid of David. And, and David's running his mouth about the subs. I'm not afraid of him. I'll see you guys later.